All right, so now that 12th generation Intel CPUs are finally out, the choice of your motherboard becomes really important. And a lot of you guys are interested in upgrading to the 12th generation and looking to build PCs with Intel's latest CPUs. And I think I have a good motherboard that you can consider for your next 12th generation PC build. And it comes from MSI. Just kidding. We are going to be talking about the MSI MPG Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi and this happens to be their you know, midline motherboard which is performance focused but also gives you a good design aesthetic so it looks good, has a really good performance as well. So they're trying to balance it. So we're going to be talking about this one and here's how it looks. This is the MSI MPG Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi. And at first glance, it looks really good to me. Like the design aesthetic that they're going for, it's pretty good. And the build quality of the motherboard as well is really good, we'll be talking about that. But first, let's talk about what's changing with Z690 and what 12th generation brings in terms of the motherboard. So first up is gonna be the socket itself. We have the LGA 1700 socket and there is a difference. Even if you cannot see it, there is a difference in the socket. The CPUs are gonna be different. And yes, you cannot use older CPUs here. So new generation, new motherboard. And there's also a new power delivery system. So that's that. And the two main big highlight features with Z690 are gonna be DDR5 RAM and PCI Gen 5. And this motherboard has them both. So DDR5 RAM means you're gonna get the newer, you know, faster RAM that can be 4,800 megahertz on the base. And you can use XMP to go up to 66, 66 megahertz. And if you don't wanna use XMP, and if you're really good at manual overclocking, you can get more speed out of your RAM as well. So DDR5 is the big major breakthrough with Z690 and 12th generation. And also talking about PCI Gen 5, that's gonna be helpful for your graphics cards, any sort of you know PCI card or product that you attach, but mainly for graphics cards. At the moment in the market, we don't have PCI Gen 5 graphics cards or you know products that can use it, but this motherboard is gonna be ready for the future. And I think that's gonna be good. But you can also use PCI Gen 4 cards here, no issues at all. And you also have four M.2 slots, and that's gonna be Gen 4 and one Gen 3 M.2 slot. And the one you know special feature that you get with MSI's you know, Z690 series, at least this carbon Wi-Fi one, is gonna be dual thermal pad design, which has been brought down to you know from the Godlike series of motherboards. So this feature only used to be in the Godlike series in the past, but now you have dual thermal pad design on the carbon Wi-Fi as well. So if you're using an M.2 SSD, you'll have thermal pad on the bottom as well as the top. And it helps in heat dissipation as well as, you know, just keeping that SSD cool. And you're gonna be using Gen 4 SSDs, which kind of heat up a lot. And when they're giving you speeds like 7.5 gigabytes per second, you need some, you know, decent cooling to keep them stable. So I think the dual thermal pad design is gonna be a really good upgrade. And it's really appreciated that they're bringing down features from the premium line of motherboards to, you know, the more affordable series. So that's that. And you also have, you know, features like Intel's 2.5 gigabit LAN as well as Wi-Fi 6E. And you also have front and rear USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports. So one port here, that's 3.2 Gen 2. And there's also a header. So let's say your case has 3.2 Gen 2 port on its, you know, front, you know, IO panel. You can use this motherboard and you'll get speeds up to 20 gigabytes per second. So that's a good upgrade as well, in my opinion. And, you know, talking about just the look and design of this motherboard, it's really good. I like it and it goes well with, you know, gamery theme as well as if you want like a stealth, you know, matte black kind of PC build. I think this will definitely go with that as well. And you also have, you know, the build quality that you expect with a premium MSI motherboard. So this one comes with eight layer PCB and also a steel armor. And just don't trust the numbers. I'm holding the motherboard right now and it's heavy. And you know, I can feel that it's a really good quality, well-built motherboard. So there's steel armor around the, you know, PCI slots that'll, you know, make sure your graphic card doesn't end up breaking the slot of the motherboard. But apart from that, you know, you also have ease of life features like the Easy Clip M.2, which will assist you in, you know, installing your M.2 SSD. You also have non-loosening screws. How many times have you tried to install an M.2 SSD and lost the screws? Well, this motherboard, that won't happen. So when you take out the 
heat sink from the top, the screws stay there. You don't have to find them later. So that's a really good feature in my opinion. And this motherboard will also be compatible with MSI Center software, which is gonna be like your one-stop shop, one hub, to not only you know, monitor and tune the performance of this motherboard to see all the numbers, but also customize the lighting and all the products attached to your motherboard. So yes, Mystic Light is now built into MSI Center, so you don't have to download multiple softwares. And you also have you know, ease of life features like the Easy LED right here. So if you want RGB on your motherboard, you can keep it on, but if you want RGB to be you know, off as a whole on your motherboard, just click that little button there and it turns off. You also have an easy debug LED that'll help you in troubleshooting and detecting the right source of the problem so you're not spending you know, time on things that are not important. So that's there. And talking about the VRM of this motherboard, this specific motherboard has an 18 plus one plus one you know, direct phase design with 75 amp smart power stages. And I think the power delivery system on this motherboard is gonna be good. The VRMs, again, it's an MSI motherboard, so you're expecting really good quality. And there's also a heat pipe design to keep the VRM cool below this heat sink. So you should be expecting some good, you know, motherboard VRM temperatures, even while overclocking. So that's that. And talking about how Z690 is different from Z590 and what it brings new with this new launch, C590 was limited to, again, PCI Gen 4 and DDR4. The power delivery system was not as great as you're gonna get on this one. And also there was the LGA 1200 socket type. But with Z690, you're getting DDR5, you're getting PCI Gen 5 as well as Gen 4 support. And this motherboard is exclusively supporting DDR5, but there are other MSI motherboards that are exclusive to DDR4. So again, Z690 chipset, but let's say you wanted to use DDR4 memory, you can do that and go with those kind of motherboards. Now, we have no idea about the pricing and availability of DDR5 RAM yet. And trust me, it's not what you think it is. So yeah, DDR4 is also there if you needed it. But apart from that, that's pretty much it for a quick overview of the MSI Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi. And I like this motherboard and there is no information on pricing yet, but it is available for pre-orders now. So you can, you know, lock in a pre-order if you know you'll be able to arrange a CPU for yourself. But happy building, happy building with 12th generation Intel. And I am also waiting and as curious as you guys are for the performance numbers and to see how it compares to Team Red. All right, so that's pretty much it for my quick overview of MSI's Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then go ahead and smash the like button as well as subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the future 12th generation content. And again, let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about the 12th generation? Are you gonna be upgrading? What kind of motherboard are you gonna buy for your PC build? And yes, let me know in the comments down below, whatever it is, I'll be there replying to you guys. And that's pretty much it. My name has been Yusuf. You guys have been awesome. Stay awesome, keep smiling, stay home, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.